Hi everyone, it's Veronica and in this video I'll show you how to create closed captions for audio or video right inside Storyline. In a previous video, I showed you how you can import a CC file into video or audio in Storyline, which was great, but relied on us having to create the closed captions elsewhere. You could use free captioning services like YouTube or Amara or any number of paid services, but not anymore. Now, with Articulate 360's latest update on the 30th of August 2017, you can not only import CC files, but also create closed captions right inside Storyline using the brand new closed captions editor. So here's how. So let's go into a blank slide and just insert a video. This is just one of my tutorials there. So we'll insert the video and you can see that under the video tools and options, we've got this add captions big button there. We also have an import button, which we can check out a bit later. So let's click on add captions. And that will open this new closed captions editor. So once that's open, you will see this interface. Now, one of the fan most fantastic things about this editor is that when you insert a video or audio and open this editor, you can see these uh, light gray boxes down here are the captions and Storyline has automatically added captions, empty captions based on the audio that's in your video or audio file. So see how there's a little break in the, in the talking there. That's where Storyline decided that this first caption should end. And the same here and the same here. So it analyzes the audio wave to um, basically predict where the captions should be. Now, all of this is editable and customi customizable afterwards, but it does a lot of the work for you right off the bat. So I'm just quickly going to go through a demo of how this actually works when you want to create your own captions. So what's going to happen is I'm going to click inside this first light gray caption. When I do that, it's going to turn dark gray to indicate that it's in edit mode. And the audio is going to automatically play so that I can type what I'm hearing. Now, when it gets to the end of the audio for that first caption, the audio will automatically pause, allowing me to finish my typing. When I'm finished typing, I can just use the tab key on my keyboard and it'll jump automatically to the next caption and automatically play the audio bit for that next caption. Now, if I get to the end of the caption, the audio pauses and I haven't quite finished typing and I need to re-listen because I missed a part, then I can just click enter or return on the keyboard and it'll play that audio bit again. So I'm just gonna do a really quick live demo. What you're going to hear is actually the system audio, which is me talking with that video. And um, I'll just type up the first couple of captions. So here we go. Hi everyone, it's Veronica. And in this video, I wanted to show you how I created this. And see how that's paused there, allowing me to finish my typing, which I've now forgotten, but anyway. And so I can hit enter Hi everyone, and listen to Veronica. that again. And in this video, I wanted to show you how I created this We'll leave it at that. And now I'm just gonna tab Drop down menu effect. And I can just tab again and you can see when you click on the menu button and so on. So I can just keep tabbing all the way through this video, which as you can see, Storyline has automatically chopped up into captions and it's really super, super easy. So for the moment, I'm just gonna save and close that and we'll just take a look. So let's preview that. So there's my video now. I've got it set so that when I click, it'll play. But before I do that, I'm going to turn on closed captions down here. So this is part of the player. So I'm going to turn it on now and I'll play the video. Hi everyone, it's Veronica. And, in this and there video, are I'm going to my show you captions. How I created this drop down menu effect. All right, so that works. So let's take a look at how we can make edits to these captions. So one of the things that you can do is you can actually edit Hi the everyone, text it's Veronica, slightly. And in this video, I wanted to show you how I created this. So I'm going to select all of that text and see this little text editing little toolbar that appear there. You can actually make that text or any of that text bold or italics or underlined, if you like, or all of them. So there are some basic text formatting options in there. Another thing that you can do is you can split a caption. So as we said, 
Storyline automatically captions the video or the audio file. But if you think uh, this caption, for instance, is too big, too long, you can just place the playhead where you want to split it and then hit split and it'll just split it for you there. Now you'll have to adjust the text. Hey, you can see that all of the text has stayed with that first caption, but yeah, now I you have to two captions. How I created this. And then if you click inside the caption, you can edit that caption. But if you move your mouse slightly on top of that or at the bottom, you can see that four um, pointed arrow. And that means that you can adjust the caption. Say you want to uh, sync it a little bit better to the audio. You can move them around like that. Now, another fantastic thing that you can do is you can actually finish all of the captioning for your file and you can export those captions, which means that you can use this caption file with any other video or audio file in any other application, which is a great, great feature. Finally, you can also, like I showed in the previous video, you can also import a captions file. So here it's warning me that if I import a cap captions file, it'll replace all the work that I've done. So I'll say no. But if you already have a CC file that you've done elsewhere, you can import it and even edit it within this Storyline uh, closed captions editor. So I don't really need this to be split, so I'm going to delete that new caption and I'm going to Everyone stretch this one out a bit like that and just make it like before. I'm going to save and close. So there you have it. That's how you can create captions for your video or audio file right inside of Storyline. Thanks for watching. See you next time.